video we're gonna cover Undying Commander Belt. Maggots. Sleeping at Gaming today, we are gonna cover one of their unique commanders, okay? The, these commanders um, is Undying, he's a Nazgul commander. Uh, now, the Nazgul, they do have like different R3 skill now. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do, okay? So, first thing first, uh, he can do both. He can be a damage dealer and he can be also a tank as you can see here okay the two skill that can be tanked here it's basically undead commanders and once you max those up okay you're gonna have 90% chance to evade damage taken for each first four hit okay and then it's three f uh, faction okay uh, so you know the three units just gonna be like um, not getting hit, you know, 90% is pretty high chance. Okay, another one that you can do is also a second win, which is a healing. Okay, not so much popular uh, on this, but you know, they can heal in the round five. Okay, three ally formation recover 1000% HP. Okay, and then cannot recover again, but then you can heal extra 300% and take effect in round 4 when you max it out. So let's say the first 3 rounds you survive, uh, then you're gonna have a chance to recover almost full and um, just come back to fight again. So you know, you make the battle last longer. Unfortunately, these are, you know, not his greatest, okay? His greatest right now that you want to invest it in is the Undertaker. Okay, so this is max out. Normal attack deal 120% physical damage to two enemy formation, okay? Uh, at level five, it's gonna be three formation and it's gonna increase commander attack. Next up, we want to put in the Weapon Master for the first three round deal 270% physical damage to two enemy formation. Okay, so this is the first three rounds only, but you know, you will deal extra damage, okay? When, and then at five, attack have 15% chance to inflict stun, which is, uh, most of the time it's not stick. And then um, the target defense is gonna go down by five for one round. These are bread and butter for damage dealer um, undying, okay? And the rest of the point, I would go with evade here, not healing. Because the healing, you can only put like uh, for the average people, uh, you probably be able to put like maybe 3.4 point is not that much. However, if you put it in here, it have a chance not to get hit. So this is the way that I would build undying, okay? So the undead commanders would be the extra point. Now, let's talk about the equipment vibe here. Okay, you want to go all out in attack since you want to deal physical damage, right? So, the battle axe here, okay? Uh, if you do have a gold equipment, the best one would be the axe of Casa Doom. For the body part, uh, I do have just Hogberg, but you could also Go with the scale mail, which is increased commander attack by 15, defense by 9, and extra HP. So this is a lot better piece than I'm using, but then again, I don't have the right skill yet. The helmet. Again, full ham, okay? And if you have a better uh, choice, you probably want to go to the cast of the pride. And lastly, guys, bone talisman. Okay, increase attack. Uh, if you do have a better equipment, you want to, in the goal, you want to go to Palantir, you want to use the the drum of Baladur. Um, yeah, so those are like a ideal equipment that you want to use on your Undying. And then uh, for the relics wise, uh, the task is very simple and you get a very cool like staff. Okay, using Undying to heal, okay, he have very high heal, so you you just use that skill just to heal um, when you like 
uh, start out the season, you're definitely going to get those. Okay, next, recruit Kamu. Kamu is 99 cent uh, commanders. Uh, you should actually already have him by now, by the time you got Undying. Okay, and lastly, guys, um, occupy one um, fell beast house. So, very, very easy. Okay, you're going to have to start south, but it's achievable. Okay, lastly, guys, you need respect 10 in order to actually this and uh, you can actually craft this so undying uh, wait and as you already know the relics are gonna increase the stat by quite a lot and each brown one enemy formation have 5% chance to turn into madness uh, not a lot of people will have uh, a lot of investment uh, to make him to like a 25% uh, each one round, okay, it's ha happen every round. So 5% uh, might not stick, okay, but if you do have like max it out, uh, which not everybody will have it, but it, it is a good item to have if you actually have him already there, okay. Um, so overall, this commander is very good, very good. We're gonna move on to Maggot's report and see how he does. Maggot's report. All right, in this battle right here, as you can see here, Undying deal 100 and almost 10k. Uh, physical damage okay the soldier is just the guardian so they don't really do damage and you see the counterpart is the shadow uh, basically dealing 124 and you already know shadow have uh, shape of the void where he can actually hit twice so the damage gonna be a um, little bit higher and as you can see here you can see the um, the damage is you know neck to neck here then we have Sauron and King of Men okay so all these two r right here the build are very similar and the result that you get is also very similar so um, usually shadow will out damage undying uh, that's no doubt to it then again um, undying also have a very good kit so you can't really go wrong uh, with Undying if you actually gonna use him if you don't have a, anybody else and you could replace um, like King of Men with Lutz or something in this formation and you know it's just a 3 damage dealer and uh, 1 um, debuffer and it, in the 2.0 uh, most of the battles uh, will end uh, with the who deal the most physical damage okay so this is a very very good commanders to build leave a comment down below what do you think about undying are you using him in the battles at all or you have not recruit him and uh, other than that guys uh, I believe this commander is one of the greatest evil commander that you can actually recruit and actually play and I'll see you in the next content Thank <laughs> you.